expedition. We're going to go through the setup um, from when you first get to camp, how to lift the roof, how to put the awning out, and how to put the uh, annex up. Okay, first of all, you've got to release the arms for the, the awning. So I've, I've, I've already put the draft skirt on, I've already leveled the van. In each corner, you've got leveling legs. Um, I've leveled this off so it's nice, nice and even, and I've put the draft skirt on as well. Now we move to the roof. So, I release the legs, the safety latches, these are Velcro safety latches. Pop them in the drawer. So we're going to undo these latches, you've got four latches, one in each corner and just to undo them you've got this little safety switch here, so push that safety switch in and then pull the latch down. Those switches are there in place so that they can't come undone by accident. Push it down, undo the latch and then fold them back up. On the new ones I think they latch the other way so that they stay down. And then we've already undone our latches for the roof and we've made sure that the latches are well and truly out of the way. So at this point we can lift our roof up so we can get inside. And then once you've done that, you can lift the legs up. And then tension the vinyl by pushing down slightly and tightening the, these arms up. And that will give you your day awning, um, very quick setup. And then from there we can start setting up the annex. Okay, now we're going to take out the, uh, the legs. So just unclip the bottom there. Pull the leg out. You want to be pegging that down on the floor with two pegs. And then tension the canvas by loosening that off, pulling the canvas tight, and then tighten it back up again. Okay? And just make sure that leg's nice and straight. And true. Right now we're going to put your anti flat kit on. You want one on each side of the awning. Slot them together. You don't need to tighten that up yet. We're just going to put this in place. Now a little bit tricky, just slot that in at the top and then you pop this into the hole that's on the awning. Okay? And that's why we leave it loose so that it goes in and you've got a little gap in the middle. myself a little ladder here uh, just to get up to the top it's always handy to have a little ladder with you when you're setting up these awnings um, just makes it a little bit easier so up the top here first of all what we'll do now that's in place tighten up this little grub screw here just to make sure that that anti-flap kit is nice and tight and in place and then you can put, put on the clamps. And the clamps hold the canvas in place. Do the same on the front as well. And that's your anti-flap kit in place. Now we're going to put the side walls and the front wall on. So firstly with the side walls, what I'd say is lay the canvas out so that you can see uh, everything you've got to do. On the side walls, disconnect this strip that goes on the C-channel. 
And then what we're going to do, just remember which is the top and which is the bottom. We're going to do is slip that into this C channel on this side. Just make sure you've got the right side wall for the right side that you're doing. So this one is the back side wall. So we're just slipping it into that C channel there. Uh, Just like that, and that's ready to accept the Velcro from the sidewall when we put it on. Now we're going to put the top section off, so take, disconnect the top section from the main wall. You don't have to do this, but it does make your life easier. That is a zip and Velcro. So now we can put that on into the C channel. We've got to make sure of this on this is you're using the inside C channel on the anti flap kit. So as you can see, the inner C channel, just feed that in. And again, you'll need a step ladder. Right up to the top there. So all the way home. And at this point, you can actually go up to the top and attach the Velcro at the top here. That's how you know you've got it in the right place. So now we're going to attach the side on. What I've done is just slip the zip in there and then you're, you just need to pull the zip along like so. Probably easier with two people doing this. Just to prove I can do it with one person, there we go. And that's the side wall on. And then we're just going to attach the uh, section that you already put on the van. Just get that nice tight seal all the way down. And that's your side wall. That'll all come tight once you put on the front wall and you've pegged it down. Quite easy to distinguish which is which. Like I say, just lay them out on the ground. The biggest one is the front canvas, and then you can see which is the left and which is the right. So what we're going to do is take this bead and feed it into the front C channel on this roll. You can see you can feed that in nice and smooth all the way. Like I say, easier to do with two people really, but can be done with one. And then once you've done that, just connect the zips. So this wall that we attached on prior, we just connect the zip up, zip it down. And that's that side on. And what we'll do now is put on the other side and connect the zip up. So I've already taken off the uh, section that comes off. Uh, that goes into the C section on the van. It's a little bit trickier than the one at the back, which is why I'm going to show you this separately. You feed it in from the bottom here, making sure that the Velcro is facing up like that. Go all the way up so it's flush at the bottom. And then feed in to this top C section, like so. So it's all the way in and your Velcro is facing up. Once you've got all the canvases on the front sides, before you put the poles on, just try and get the legs at the right height. So you can see how the canvas hangs now. You can see where it goes to the floor. So probably what I want to do is go one notch higher than that. 
So just release the lever, lift it up a notch, and lock it back in place. You see how that sits quite nicely now? And then you'll, that'll allow you to put the floor in place as well. Once we've put this top section into um, the anti-flap kit, then we can zip this on. Now this goes over the top of your, your arm. Uh, so your awning arm here, this side, front side goes over the top of it. You've got to, you've got to allow for the fridge slider, so this is the exception. So we just slip that in there. And this just takes a little bit of time, but take your time doing it. Um, certainly for your first few times, but you've got a you've got a feel for it. Um, the more you do it, the tighter the canvas will probably be. Okay, what we're going to do is um, attach. Now we put the side on. We're going to zip it together to the front section. I've just sealed that seal that up here so you're going around the support and then the leg we're on the inside of the leg so the legs on the outside do that zip up all the way down to the bottom and then we can put the holes in the angled pole that you've got goes in this corner. I put them in in this order. Some people may put them in a different order, but this is, um, I put this pole in first and put the Velcro around it so it's held in place and then just attach it at the top here. It just slips into place and tensions up. And then you've got the pole with the hook on. It goes through the loop at the front, just above the fridge slider. And then that one is your spreader bar clipping into place to the angle bar there and then you can tension that a little bit and get a good little bit of tension on there and then we've got another spreader bar it's this one that you've got the uh, the angle on that goes on top of there that's on top of there and then you, the way you know where to put it you've got this little bit of velcro here so pop that into there and then that extends down to this one give you a bit of extra support there as well. So just tension that nice and tight and you've got the support there. And that's the pole set up for the fridge extension. Final pole inside the annex is the centre support. On the new ones they've got two of these now, but on the originals they had only one. Um, and this centre support pole slips in to the van right there. Going nice and tight. There we go. And then into the hole in the roll. And then you can just tighten that up. Stop any water pooling on the canvas. Um, included in the, in the awning setup, you've got these really nice sunshades as well that attach on the outside. So the front one, I'll show you how to attach these on. Um, there's a zipper. They're the lighter canvas. Pop the zipper on here. Pop these poles in, as you can see, and then you put the guy rope over the top, and that holds it nice and tight. So once you put that pole in, you can put the guy rope on top, tension it up a little bit, 
so that your sunshade is nice and tight. We've got these sides now, we've got the front sunshade on, we'll put the side sunshades on. Um, literally just feeding it into the outer C channel on your anti flap kit. So I go from the center um, just because I feel like it's a little bit easier. You can feed it up that way. Because you've got this little gap here, and then you can feed it back down that way. But you can go from the front as well if you want. Um, So there we go, feed that all the way. And then what we'll do is put a pole up. I can't put this up fully because uh, I haven't got the space here, but I can show you the poles that you get with it. Pop in a pole like that, that's your number ones. Pull it out nice and tight, and then again tie a guy rope to the top and peg it into the ground. And then you've got that nice sun shelter, adjustable height just to stop the sun hitting your canvas and making it warm. So there we go, that's the annex set up for the Emu Expedition. It's worth noting now that once you, you can set it up in many configurations, but it's worth noting now that you can also drop these down to have a complete blackout if the weather turns. Um, you, can also, you can take off the entire front wall if you want to. So you just leave the sunshade on and then you get all the airflow in through the annex so there's quite a few different configurations for it just whatever you're comfortable with um, and depending on obviously where you are at the time because they're all fitted with these fly screens as well um, to keep the pests out